Self is not a keyword. Self refers to the current object being executed. Look at this uh, price brand. You may have a reference variable. If mobile in mobile mobile one and mobile two you have. If you're saying uh, if you look at this idea of mock two, or um, when you call this mock two, right? Mock two is equal to mobile of. When you create this object, it goes up. Self. I think if you have watched my previous in, in one of the videos I have mentioned it, self is pointing to the object or reference variable which we are talking about. Let's visualize this code. Now look at this mobile of when you pass this up, this object creation right mobile of is the object creation method and that is mob one is referring it. So mob one is referring variable. This is is in this way it will hold this self will hold this. Goes up. Self is the first parameter. Mobile of mobile one is the reference variable. Self is pointing to current object. In this point in time, both mob and self is pointing to current object. The same method is called multiple times. When line number seven is executed, self is pointing to mob one. When line number ten is executed, self will be pointing to mob two. Look at this self instance. So self instance. It has two parameters. So this self instance currently is pointing to this object. When you go on create another object, look at this self instance is not pointing to this object. It is pointing to new instance. Now self is pointing to this current. So self is nothing but a current object. If you create another object, self will be pointing to the another object. A newly created object. We have already seen that reference variable a dot attribute name creates an attribute for that object by using self dot attribute name and assigning a value. We are creating an attribute to the current object. The best practice is to create attributes inside the constructor. Look at this. We have we have created attributes inside the constructor. So first parameter is always in some of the function. If you have noticed in some of the function. First parameter will always be self. Self is nothing but current object. Attributes can be created only by using self variable and the dot operator. Without self, we are only creating a local variable and not an attribute. Look at this example. Ethan in it, we are creating self dot brand is equal to none. Simply brand is equal to apple. This creates a local variable. Variables without self are local and they don't affect the attributes. Local variables cannot be accessed outside the init using self creates attributes which are accessible in other methods as well. Mob dot mob one is equal to mobile of print of mob one dot brand. This does not print apple. This prints none. You can visualize this. In, in fact, print it. Look at this. Inside the mobile constructor, it prints none. In this method, when the object is called, is invoked. It goes up inside mobile constructor. When you access this mobile one dot brand, it was already assigned none, so it simply returns none. In the below code, how does the return product method know which mobile object we are using? Look at this return product. We are using mobile mobile two dot return product. So which means which it will return Samsung. If it does not know which uh, product we are using, which um, object we are calling. It it might get confused whether which uh, object we need to call, which product we need to return, right? So since you are calling using mob two dot reference variable dot return product, this mob two is substituted to self. Self is pointing to current object. Mob two is the only object which invokes the return product now. In the next line, if you use another one more uh, function, mob one dot uh, return product, then in that line, if the I'm assume there is a line number sixteen. If we include a line in 16, mob one dot uh, return product, then self will be on line number 16. When you execute that, self will be pointing to mob one. Mob two dot return product can also be invoked as mobile dot return product of mob two. Look at this alternate way, but you need to pass mob two. So if you if you look at this, you can understand return product is a function of the class method of a class mobile. So you are calling with a class name. Mobile dot return product of 
now it has a parameter if you are calling it with a reference variable you don't have to pass the parameter by default it takes current object as a parameter since you are calling it using a class name mobile dot return product you will have to pass a parameter the parameter should be an object that is what we do here an alternate way of doing it you may visualize this now create second instance data members are created now we call out return product it is one of one way of calling it so it goes up self is pointing to the second instance samsung instance mark 2 right mark 2 is pointing to this now self is also pointing to this it is done then goes up mobile dot return product you are calling it using class name so it is important you pass an object as a parameter so mark 2 now look at this self is is point is not pointing to anything currently when you pass this up self will be pointing to mark 2 look at this mark 2 and self both are pointing to same instance deeper dive into self look at this mark 1 dot display of so we have a method uh, def display of, uh, display of self print self dot discount now self will be pointing to mark 1 self refers to mark 1 Uh, mob one dot display of here the function definition is um, print mob object dot discount here mob object is pointing to is the first parameter and it it refers to mob one then mob mob to mob one dot purchase of two here it has got two parameter self comma quantity here self is the first parameter hence it refers to mob one so if you don't mention uh, within a function parameter if you do not So when in the function call, if you do not mention self, you don't have to. By default, you don't have to mention it. If you don't mention it, what will happen? Simply, uh, in the function definition, takes self as the first parameter, and whatever value you pass, it will be substituted to quantity. So two uh, quantity is pointing to two now. And then um, look at this purchase of two. Now you say quantity comma self. Here it is a problem. By default, when you invoke a function, it assumes that the first parameter is a self and second parameter is two. In this example, here quantity is the first parameter. The definition. Look at the definition. Quantity is the first parameter. Hence, it refers to mob one. You are calling the uh, the mob one is substituted to quantity. Self is substituted to two. The second parameter is self, which stores two passed during invocation. When you try to print, the total is quantity and uh, dot price into self. Then it gives you value. So here, mob on the display of you are trying to print self dot discount. So this is an error since the first parameter of a method is always a reference to the object used. Hence, it should have at least one parameter. Function in the function call, you don't have to mention a parameter, but when it comes to function definition, the first parameter should be self. So guess I guess the output of the following code snippet. So we have a look at this. ID is the first parameter. Self is the second parameter. Age is the third parameter. Now self is not going to point to current object, but ID is going to point to the current object. Just to understand how self works. It's not a good way of coding, but still you need to understand. You can uh, do it like this also. Now using this first object, first object is pointing to current object. So we are going to have two parameters named self and age. ID dot self, ID dot age. So id dot self is equal to self is nothing but hundred age id dot age is equal to age nothing but twenty. Now you are trying to print c one dot self c one dot self has hundred so hundred should be the output. It is a simple exercise to make you understand how the first parameter plays vital role. You may use something else but it is not advisable and not not and not a good practice too.